Less than five years ago, this was a blooming plantation of 100-year-old olive trees. Now it's full of skeletons of twisted trunks. A deadly bacteria is attacking the trees and threatening an ancient agricultural and economic activity, both here in Italy and in other countries in southern Europe. How can science help find solutions to this problem? Four thousand olive trees used to thrive on this land, owned for almost five centuries by the same family of Italian olive oil producers. Then suddenly a bacteria called Xylella fastidiosa started to dry the trees up. My output has plunged by around 80% in just three years. This disease has completely destroyed the landscape and our production system. Any eventual recovery will be very slow. The ruined plantation is now an experimental field for researchers and students from Europe, Northern Africa, the Middle East and Iran. They're involved in a European research project aimed at establishing early diagnostic tools and sharing knowledge to tackle the problem. The sooner you can identify the disease, the more guarantees you'll have to face it. So this is the first thing we are doing. The second thing is to share scientific knowledge, because this fight against the disease must be multidisciplinary. We must fight it not only from a biological perspective, but also using tools from other areas like sociology, economics and biotechnology. The bacteria is mainly transmitted from tree to tree by insects. Researchers first had to identify and characterize the pathogen, and that was a challenge. It's bacteria that exclusively colonize and act inside the vessels of the wood. It blocks water and mineral salts going from the roots to the leaves. Everything happens exclusively inside the tree. This makes the disease so difficult to deal with. As yet, there's no known cure for the disease. Early diagnostic tools and apps for pathogen monitoring have been developed and are being tested to prevent its expansion. Now, researchers are looking to the future. The bacteria is now considered endemic in the affected regions. That means it's no longer possible to eradicate or eliminate it. So we must learn how to live with it. And one way is by developing plants that are resistant or show a low susceptibility to the disease. This greenhouse has 23 olive tree varieties potentially resistant to the pathogen. Another 500 varieties are currently being studied and researchers say they're making some progress. We've already identified two varieties that are resistant to the disease, known as Lecino and Fabulosa. But this is only the start, as our objective is to find more varieties that are even more resistant. Potentially resistant varieties are grafted onto affected trees for closer monitoring. Local olive oil producers say they hope this research will eventually help them. We clearly need to increase biodiversity. We need to think of other olive tree varieties. This will help create a buffer zone and a natural barrier that could guarantee us a better future.